a video of my rig right here. It's a 2020 Wells Fargo Road Force tandem axle, 6x12. So, 14 Ram, 1500. Works pretty good to have me. No complaints really. Looking into getting a diesel soon. There's, I think it matches up pretty well. Go we'll walk around the other side and show you what's inside the side door. Looks a little dirty. Camera prizes will pick it up. Yeah. So I like about this door right here. Got the RV door instead of that um that flip over style. A nice little latch right there too. Yeah, this thing's horrible. I'm sorry. Got a trash can right there. This is my my towel bin. Been working all week, full of towels. Need to wash them. A little business card holder. Still got some more things to put up on here, maybe. Bed line floor makes it pretty easy to clean up, but I don't know why I haven't cleaned it. Been a busy week, but I'll clean it this weekend. These are my towel holders. I keep my paint towels in that one. My interior towels in that one. That's drying towels. That one. No, this one. This one should be drying towels. I don't know why there's a drying towel in there. I think there's a bunch of applicator pads in that one. A uh, little miscellaneous drawer. Got a. Um, some more just miscellaneous towels, some rinseless wash towels and stuff like that. Got a window cleaning towel. And those are all my mitts, all my pads, mitts, and all that stuff. Let me turn the light on. That's a little light. Looking up through that soon. Get some more light. Only half of the trailer's painted. I tried painting the inside of it. I want the whole trailer to be this color, this gray pewter color. But it's gonna be painted now, so I have to take this shelf off. Shelf's on an e-track. It makes it pretty easy, but still, still figuring out how I want to do everything. So I don't want to go do all that and then end up changing it up. But here, we'll start from the bottom here. 150 gallon water tank. I've never seen one of these kind of tanks right here. So apparently it's like a half size IBC tote tank. Works pretty good, 150 gallons, kind of big, but it lasts me all day so far. So not bad at all. I got a little garden hose whip line coming from the top of it to fill up in the mornings. That's a little quick disconnect right here. Let's plug it in. The only bad thing is whenever you disconnect it, a bunch of water pours it out because that's what's still in the little hose. Got a little extension cord that runs from the generator. Got my Milwaukee charger. There's a power cord there too. Has little lights on it and everything. Here's my basic gallon storage right here. Fits quite a bit. I have a little miscellaneous stuff out of my polisher. One of my polishers right there. Got my gorilla rack right there. My gorilla, gorilla ladder or whatever. Works pretty good. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Somebody wanting a detail. I don't know where I was at. I'm pretty sure I was just finishing up at these drills. Yeah, I just got to screw where they're hanging from. There's a little light switch. I can't foam where I broke the other day. It snaps. There's a little crack right there. I got a spare, so that'll be all right. So yeah, this is basically how it looks. Eventually, I want to put a shelf right here. Put a little coffee machine and stuff right there. Definitely got the space. Still figuring things, some things out. I want to put some more lights. All sorts of stuff definitely has the space six by twelve is perfect love this trailer it's a beautiful looking trailer yeah let me get it unlocked for you guys real quick
And here's the back end of the trailer, barn doors. Pretty nice, I like these doors. This one's sagging a little bit. I need to tighten it up or something. I have to lift it up and, and scratching this little lip right here. But here I got glove holder, bottle rack, another bottle rack. There's my foam cannon. This is just a few of the brushes I carry. I usually put the brushes that need drying right there. I just leave them right there. Here's a generator. It's a Predator 3500. Probably got like about 200 hours on that. Powers everything. Works pretty good. I haven't had it shut off yet. Here's some reels that I got. This shelf right here. There's a Nicole steamer right there. There's my air compressor. It's a California Air Tools 8010, I think. It's a aluminum tank. I wish it'd be a little bigger. It really doesn't power this this blowgun right here. Partly because uh, I think this blowgun, I think it that's too wide of a it like blows too much air, too much volume. Think about getting like a more traditional, smaller, smaller one. I'll probably help it out. But this is a Flexzilla 50 foot cock, uh, not cock reel, normal electric cord reel right here. Works pretty good. That one will shut off every once in a while if I have like a the vacuum and the seamer on it. That's a little reset button on the side. Yeah, so the only power, I use the only power one thing at a time on that. Here's a, I think a giraffe tools. 35 foot or no i think it's a 50 foot also air air hose reel works pretty good they're both really fast here's a little bottle rack too right here keeps the miscellaneous stuff made out of vinyl fence post works pretty good works a lot better for these bigger bottles probably should have made the holes a little smaller but it keeps the stuff in there so that's all that matters Here's my pressure washer right here. It's a Ryobi. It's the smallest one I think you can basically get. Works decent. It's kind of loud. Takes a while to prime up because it's gravity fed right now at the moment. Looking into getting a AR Blue or a Kranzel. I have that battery back there because it used to run off a pump, but the pump burned up the other day. There it is, one of these pumps right here. Ran it dry but for maybe a couple seconds burned up right after that the pump was supposed to be designed to run dry you know in an emergency but i guess it couldn't handle it so yeah here's a little hose that i use to fill buckets up slow as hell back whenever it was on the pump it was a way faster fill up a bucket in 30 seconds my rigid vacuum got some detailer kit on it Works pretty good, kind of heavy. Eventually I want to put it on a, on a reel also, set it back there. That's what I got this space right here open for. Put it back there, put a vacuum hose 50 foot on there. Throw that on there. Here's a, two buckets I keep right here in both the grit guards. Little milk crate, keep a bunch of things in there, all sorts of stuff. Needs a little organization. There's my shirt can probably the best gasoline tank you can find makes it super easy to fill up this uh generator oh it has a little little button right here little nozzle works perfect it's a pretty basic setup for now i still want to get an extractor some other things too just upgrade a couple things but for now for first year in business that works pretty good for me i can get a lot accomplished with it but yeah i just want to make this video to show everybody out there what i'm working with and you know maybe the progress in it i like how it's turning out quite a ways to go but it's working for right now it's making its money outside I love this trailer though something that's special about this trailer right here is that it's a rivetless design there's no rivets in it it's just seamless that's, oh it has seams but no rivets super nice I love it shines up pretty good
Yep, this is a Gabriel with two smooth auto detailing here in Hutchinson, Kansas. If you guys ever need any work and you're close by, I can always work out a deal with you. Yep, this is 2020, first year in business. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. I'll answer them in the comments. Pretty basic setup. I'll keep you guys updated, post some more videos on the trailer and stuff. How's it going? I'll try. This truck will be will be gone here in the next couple of weeks. I'm getting a an older truck, an older diesel, a first gen Dodge. I'll show you whenever I, I buy that. That'll be cool. But for now, this is Gabriel. Thank you for watching the vid. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate the the support. Thank you.